Teresa Brewer was an American singer whose style incorporated pop, country, jazz, R&B, musicals, and novelty songs. She was one of the most prolific and popular female singers of the 1950s, recording nearly 600 songs. Early life Brewer was born in Toledo, Ohio, the eldest of five siblings. Her father was a glass inspector for the Libby Owens Company, and her mother was a housewife. Career and agent, Richie Lasella, heard her sing and took her career in hand, and soon she was signed to a contract with London Records. In 1949 she recorded the song Copenhagen with the Dixieland All-Stars. For the B-side she recorded the song, Music, Music, Music. Unexpectedly, it was not the A-side but the B-side which took off, selling over a million copies and becoming Teresa's signature song. Another novelty song, Chewing Gum, hit the top 20 in 1950, followed by, Molasses, Molasses. Although she preferred to sing ballads, her only recorded ballad to make the charts was, Longing for You, in 1951. In 1951 Brewer switched labels, going to Choral Records. Since she never learned to read music, she had demos sent to her to learn the melodies of the songs she would record. She had a number of hits for choral. In 1952, she recorded, You'll Never Get Away, in a duet with Don Cornell, followed in 1953 by her best-selling hit, Till I Waltz Again With You. In the mid-1950s she did a number of covers of rhythm and blues songs like, Pledging My Love, and, Tweedledee. She covered some country songs including, Jilted, I Gotta Go Get My Baby, and, Let Me Go, Lover. In 1956 she co-wrote, I Love Mickey, about New York Yankees center fielder Mickey Mantle, who appeared on the record with Brewer. It was also reported that the two had developed a mutual attraction. Another 1956 hit was Brewer's syncopated rendition of, Mutual Admiration Society. In the same year her hit, A Sweet Old Fashioned Girl, demonstrated in one song her ballad and rock talents. In 1957 she recorded more covers, of country song, Teardrops in My Heart, and R&B songs, You Send Me, and, Empty Arms. She appeared as Pat Edmonds in the 1953 film musical Those Redheads from Seattle, she was a natural redhead herself. Her song from the film, Baby Baby Baby, was successful as a single. She appeared on television as a guest star on such television shows as The Muppet Show and Sha Na Na. In 1968, Brewer sang, The Star Spangled Banner, at the 1968 MLB All-Star Game. She released, Danny's Song, in 1972, in 1975, in 1986 and, again in 1991 later career Brewer re-emerged as a jazz vocalist on Tila's Amsterdam label in the 1980s and 1990s, recording a number of albums including tribute albums to Bessie Smith, Louis Armstrong, Fats Waller and Irving Berlin. She also recorded with such jazz greats as Count Basie, Duke Ellington, Dizzy Gillespie, Earl Hines, Sven Dismussen and Bobby Hackett. A landmark recording in her career was Softly I Swing which was produced by Tila and featured David Murray, Ron Carter, Kenny Barron and Grady Tate. Memories of Lewis, also recorded for Tila's Red Baron Records, paired her with a different well-known trumpeter on each track, including Clark Terry, Nicholas Payton, Ruby Braff, Freddie Hubbard, Wynton Marsalis, Roy Hargrove, Sweets Edison, Lou Soloff, Terence Blanchard Yank Lawson, Red Rodney and Dizzy Gillespie. Tila died in 1996, and Brewer never recorded after that. Altogether, she had recorded nearly 600 song titles. On June 25, 2019, the New York Times Magazine listed Teresa Brewer among hundreds of artists whose material was reportedly destroyed in the 2008 Universal Fire. Personal life Teresa married William Bill Monahan in 1949. The couple had four daughters, Kathleen, Susan, Megan and Michelle. They eventually separated, and the marriage was dissolved in 1972 shortly before she married Bob Tila. Honors for her contribution to the recording industry, Teresa Brewer has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1708 Vine Street. In 2007, she was inducted into the Hit Parade Hall of Fame. Death Brewer died of a neuromuscular disease, progressive supranuclear palsy, at her home on Pinebrook Boulevard in New Rochelle, New York, age 76. Her funeral was held at Holy Name of Jesus Church in New Rochelle, New York, where she was a member. Her cremains were given to her daughter. Influences One of Elvis Presley's first public singing experiences in 12th grade was performing a song of Brewer's, Till I Waltz Again With You.